Firstly, I just wanted to ask. So last year, um, I actually got stopped by the police while I was on my way home, and I was driving a third. I was driving a vehicle with third party insurance, but when it comes, uh, the police were asking me whether I could um, prove that I was insured third party. I went to load up the insurance policy on my phone, and my phone died, and I didn't have the charger. But I had the USB cable, so I asked the policeman if he wouldn't mind plugging it in and just to turn my phone on so that I could prove that I wasn't sure. He refused and that ended up in my car being pounded. Uh, the next day, uh, because the car was in my mum's name, I took my mum to the pound and with the same insurance, we released it and I drove out of the pound. Um, and unfortunately, why I've got the question is that um, they basically sent me a letter saying that I'm going to have a court date and then the next day the, the verdict had already come through um, and I'd been given six points on my license. Now, my question is, is there anything that I can do about that? Right. I, I think quite a lot, but we're going to have to break this down because I've got a number of questions for you. It won't surprise you to know, Akash. Um, okay. F first of all, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Perfect. P excellent. Good. Um, what did they stop you for? Um, they, they, they were undercover police. They said that I was speeding, but I wasn't speeding. And um, when I asked them to prove it to me, they said that they couldn't prove it to me. Interesting. Um, and the, the points that you've received, are they for driving without insurance? Yes, IN10. The, you said you got a letter summonsing you to court and then the following day a letter telling you you'd got points. Yes. Did the what date? This was all. This was about three and a half months after the whole thing happened. Right. What date did the letter summoning to you to court have as the court hearing date? Was it a date in the past? So the letter had been delayed, or was it a date in the future? It was in the past. So essentially, the letter summoning you to court arrived late. Yes. What? Uh, how long ago was this? Um, I would say about six months ago, sir. So you've, you've, you've not done anything for six months? I, I haven't, um, haven't thought to, sir, if I'm honest with you. Okay. Um, just, just now, recently, I'll be honest with you, my, my car insurance policy recently renewed. Oh, and it's and gone it's up cost a lot significantly. More. Yes. It's gone All up right. significantly. And that, obviously, that's forcing me to do and think about it now. That's the only reason yeah, why. Yeah, I get that. Now, if normally, if you get uh, points or any sort of conviction uh, because you didn't receive the summons to court you can get that conviction set aside if you do something called swearing a statutory declaration that's just saying i never got the court summons in time which is the case okay. for what happened here but okay. the problem is you've got to act promptly you've got to act okay. promptly and if you don't act promptly and you you haven't here i don't know there's no strict time period it's just got to be reasonably promptly but six okay. months is not reasonably promptly under any circumstances if you don't act reasonably promptly once you know about the conviction you lose the right to uh get it set aside which means i'm afraid akash there's absolutely nothing you can do it sounds tremendously unfair and it is tremendously unfair uh, it's life. No, no, no. It's life. No, one hundred percent. No, I, I completely understand. That's fine. Um, right. I just wanted to know if there was something that I, I could I, do because yeah. obviously it's a, it's a government organisation. End of the day. So, yeah. I mean, I'll, it sounds like they've behaved they, shockingly, and I, I wish I could help you, but unfortunately, the, yeah, there is, as I say, a way round this, but not if you sit on it for six months. And I get why you didn't. You had better things to do. Uh, you're getting on with your life. You've got more important things to worry about than stressing over being stopped unfairly by the police, but. Uh, the consequence of not dealing with it at the time, I'm afraid, means it's too late now. I'm really sorry. No, I, I understand. No, thank you for taking my call. I really appreciate that.